Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device. And we're starting the video with MD Blank. Now, if you have heard about this app before, this was an app that used to offer blank widgets for the home screen, but now it's updated and it has a lot more. You can see these beautiful widgets you can add to your home screen. You will have the iBoard widgets, which are pretty amazing. Then you will have photos with all kinds of different shapes and of course you will have time and text as well now what's really cool about the app is that when you go to your home screen and you add the widgets you can see they don't have a label underneath them which makes the home screen look really really clean and of course the widgets are very useful they are interactive so right here i can switch between like different sections to show different information regarding the device even here i can tap on that widget to switch between different sections and you can see the photo one it looks amazing now to set the transparency mode for these widgets all you have to do is go to your home screen tap and go here to the edit mode and take a screenshot of the last page now once you go back into md blank you go to settings set transparent background tap here and here and just load the photo the screenshot that you just took but another great feature of this app is that it will change the transparency of the widgets based on the focus mode that you have enabled on your device so you can see right here if i just enable my focus mode here for recording it will switch to another wallpaper because i have it linked to another lock screen and the widgets won't look that good here's how i fix this first of all let's just take a screenshot again of this new wallpaper and here's how you do it let's turn off here the focus mode once you have taken that screenshot you go back here into md blank and tap add a background and just add the screenshot you just took once you have done that you can go back here and you can see now that is named background this is named background 2. now here's what i can do i can go to the settings again go to focus here find the focus that i want to use recording and now i can add here a filter and here we have MD blank and I can choose the background for this focus mode, which then will apply to the widgets as well. Now you can see when I go back to the home screen, if I actually enable this focus mode, it will also add the transparent background there for the widgets. And you can see now how cool that looks. So you don't actually have the same transparent background for every focus mode. The next app for the video is called Blackout. How many times did you want to send a screenshot to someone of a text, but you want to maybe hide something? Well, this app will make it really easy for you. Now, once you have loaded a screenshot or a picture, whatever that is, it will highlight the text on that picture. And all I have to do here is just tap on the line there to hide that sentence or right here where it says line i can tap and switch to word selection now i can actually hide word by word here i don't need to hide the complete line now of course we can change the color here of the highlighter so we can choose another color maybe and it's actually very very easy to do pretty simple and yet very very efficient once you have done all this just tap that button and the picture the screenshot whatever that is will be saved with of course all the hidings here and of course the highlights will be removed on the final result now here's something similar to that but it works on a different way it is called split crop so let's say i want to send this screenshot to someone but i just want to remove this tweet right here all i have to do is just drag this highlighter right there and tap the button and now just like that you can see it actually does crop just that middle part there and it stitches the screenshot back together and it doesn't look like it there was something on that screenshot how cool that is now of course right here you can remove or show the highlighter again you can rotate the highlighter even if you want to if you want to do it of course vertically or horizontally and it's pretty easy to use it's pretty straightforward just select the part that you want to cut it will cut it and then merge back the photo together once you're done tap the share button and save it under your camera roll next up is daily notifier this might be one of my favorite apps that i have seen in a while it's very simple to use yet it's of course very effective you tap the plus button and you can add any notification you want like you want to set a reminder something like that you can basically just type a notification here whatever you want to type tap right there choose once or daily if you want to have the same notification daily every day or i can choose once here choose the date and the time and once that's set right there i can tap this button and in that exact time it will give me a notification of that reminder or whatever text i have set here it will basically give you 
notifications at any time you want. The next app for the video is called AnyBox. Now here we're on Safari, not on AnyBox. So I just want to show you guys how it works. It's really cool. You tap the share button and you can save anything you want into AnyBox. Maybe links, photos, files, anything you want. On anywhere you are, you just have the share button and you will get right here a button saved to any box. You tap it, you tap save, and that's it. You're done. You have now saved your link to any box. And you can see right here, once we go to any box, we will have here everything that we have saved. If you go to all, you will, you will see everything that is saved there. And then, of course, you will have your stored ones unsorted. Then you will have all kinds of different files that you can save. Of course, your links, your notes, your images and files as well. Everything can actually be saved on any box. And all that can be done simply by tapping the share button anywhere you are on a website or in a photo tap the share button and send it to any box. Next up is reverse image search. It allows you to search for images on the web. So you can capture an image and search it instantly, or you can import photos from your photos library, of course, from files as well, or just even paste an image URL and it will search that web for that image. So let's just load a photo here. So you load a photo and it will show you the results. And you will have all kinds of like different search engines right there. You can switch from Google to Bing and of course see which one will give you the best results. This is pretty cool and very easy to do. Anytime you have an image and you don't have a link to that, you want to search for it, you can do it with this app. You even have the history here of everything that you have searched. So all the images that you have searched will be saved right here. Next up is Khan Academy. This is an app that will allow you to learn pretty much anything you need. This is the home screen of the app where you can sign in and of course you will have like a few different highlights right here. But if you go to explore, this is what the, what the cool things are. So you will have things like science, math, computing, you will have life skills here, anything you can think of, you can actually find here and learn them pretty easily. So if we go to life skills right here, of course, we have a ton of things. And what you can do here is tap on one of them. And it will show you all kinds of like different lessons, different like files you can read. You will have videos as well. So you can see right here, the text, the videos, I can just tap here and start showing a video of that content and learn everything you want with text and videos as well. Next up is Tana Capture. This app allows us to capture a few different things. Capture text and save it right in the app. Capture like a voice memo, write something, media, or maybe just take a picture and save it right here on the app. You just use the photo, everything is saved here, go to history, you will have everything that you have captured right there with all the different details you need to know. So a pretty simple app, yet it allows you to just search, actually capture everything and have all of those organized into one app. Next up is Radio Garden. Now this is an amazing app that lets you explore and listen to radios worldwide. So you can see what we have here. We have the globe, all these green dots are actually radios. We can tap on any of them just like to discover different radios. You will have your favorites right here and you can even browse from here. So you can see the browsing section or just search for any radio that you know of. You know the name of the radio. You can search it right there. So you tap right there. Of course, it shows you the radio. Of course, you will have the player here, which lets you play any radio you want and even go and set a sleeper timer right there. So when you're listening to radio, it will be turned off automatically. And last but not least is Lemon FM, an app that allows us to listen to sounds in the background. Maybe while you're studying or maybe you try to go to sleep, you can set up a rain sound here in the background and just slide like this to set a timer. Of course, it will be stopped automatically after the timer ends. You can see the interface here, how cool this is. You have different sounds like fire, forest or rain. And of course, some other ones which are paid. But again, right here, you can see the interface. It looks really, really nice and it has some haptic feedback here, which makes it even feel like you're listening to a real radio when tapping the buttons on this app. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to download any of these apps, you will find all the links in the pinned comment. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.